Okay, um, smell a bit a lot of wind noise, so you might want to watch your audio here. Uh, I thought I'd make a little thing on what animals stalk on your property and how to tell what it is. Um, now, the simple way is uh, tracks, footprints, uh, and the other way is the crap they have left behind. You will hear things that go bump in the night. That's a big one. Uh, you may also hear their calls, like a kind of bird squawk or different no uh, noises that you know things make. Um, but yeah, um, I might do a bit on rabbits. So there's a bit of rabbit crap beside me here. My index finger for comparison there. And I like to dig out little holes, sort of like that. Here's another one over here. That's a bit bigger and a bit deeper than usual. But they dig sort of all these little holes here and there, um, just around the place. These are sort of rather large ones. Um, Oh, these are sort of washed out ones after the rain's gone through. Another good way um, is they leave little uh, tracks sort of going through the grass. Um, and you'll see like this little track where something's been walking through the grass. Um, and the other one is after it's rained, the footprints will like be fresh uh, on the soil and you'll, you'll sort of pick it out. Um, and even after there's been a lot of wind too, and soil's sort of blowing away, and then the wind stopped, and then they've walked over, you get some good fresh prints from that. Um, just walking down here, there's like a little track like that. Um, you can sort of see how. Yeah, let's see if we can get it in the camera here. There's sort of, you notice that the grass is all sort of flattened down, lower down below. Um, it all, I'll get down to this burrow. Now, this is probably one of the ones that's relatively well worn. Um, a dead giveaway is the grass that's been eaten around it. Um, and if there's no cobwebs in there, you've got quite a chance that it's actually been used because they end up gathering cobwebs after a lot of years. And the other one is um, like all oh, oh, thistle flower heads and and bits of sort of old dead grass and leaves and stuff like that. And when that sort of stuff builds up in there, uh, they're obviously not trampling it every day. Otherwise, they'd sort of either kick it in or kick it out or push it to the sides or something like that. Um, but yeah, and of course, there's a the crap out the front. But there is one cheaper way of telling, and that is if you use um, flour or something like that and you lay a nice little neat bit of it down you like in the front of the burrow and what will happen is as they walk through they kick it around and then you come back the next day and it's all kicked out of the way but you've got to be sure that there's no sort of wind um, and it's sort of far enough in that it's not going to be affected by the rain or that it doesn't rain on the night when you test it out um, but yeah the other one that's a dead giveaway of course is snow <laughs> now I haven't had it here obviously it's sleeted twice, 12 years apart, that's what it's like here. Um, but quite simply, uh, footprints in snow are a real giveaway. And it's probably pretty hard to tell here, but your grass and... Uh, the camera's going with it. See the top's sort of flat, particularly on that piece back there. The top's sort of flat on it. Now, when you get these flat tops, or there's like a bit of a rough tear, and they're sort of just white or, or something on the tips, grey on the tips, that means it's been bitten off. That means something is obviously eating it. Um, so that's another sign of, of rabbit activity. But there's a lot of other things that you'll sort of notice um, when it comes to, you know, deer and stuff like that, like... Um, 
there'll be, uh, you know, the same sort of thing with the grass bitten off. Um, you may find the tracks that go through the grass. Um, you may find the individual hoof prints and, and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I'd say probably the best identifier of all would be the crap they leave behind because I mean you can tell really animal from animal individually uh, with that. You can even tell if it's a young one or an old one by that um, because the real young ones the crap's the same but the small. Uh, I've seen it with rabbits. Um, but yeah, that's a uh, little thing on uh, how to do with that. The other one that's a real beauty that's available these days hover hawks over there um, is the game cameras. They're brilliant. They're really good. They find anything you need to find. Um, it all just turns up on the chip and you just bring it up on the little screen that's built into the back of some of them or whack it into your computer um, and you'll see it. But yeah.